Hi guys, it's the Everyday Vegan here today with Hench Herbivore. Boar, boar. Is that what you do? Herbivore. Boar. Yes, my new thing. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Anyway, so we are sitting in a beautiful location somewhere in Norway. Very secret, I can't tell you, because we broke in. We didn't break in. Of course, we didn't break in. As you may or may not know, I am running a marathon this year. So this isn't really the normal everyday vegan thing, but I have this amazing resource in Paul. I'm a vegan personal trainer and nutritional advisor. And he has offered very kindly to advise me nutritionally for what to eat and how to train and how to relax after and how to eat lots of junk food. No, no junk food. Uh, uh, no, that is forbidden. Nein, das ist forbidden, ja. Das ist nicht gut. <laughs> in preparation for my marathon, <laughs> which is on the 27th of September. So I'll make a different video series for these. So you can tell by the thumbnail if this is a running video. Paul, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do on a daily basis and how you came to it as well? I know we've done a video before, but this is much more topical now. Off you go. So yeah, I was a typical omnivore been uh, mostly into bodybuilding and combat sports and I thought I had to eat tons of meat and dairy to get my gains then I discovered the health implications then I discovered veganism I was already PT in but I found actually I went to vegan and my gains were better and so now just yeah spreading that to the world showing people how it's the best way to go it's I really believe. funny because I just picked him up from work at the Phoenix gym in Norwich here and he has turned other people in there vegan which I think yeah, is hilarious no end. Yeah. No end. Yeah, it's yeah. so funny so Paul 27th of September very scary date for me. <laughs> I'm doing the Berlin Marathon, by the way. Obviously, being from Berlin, that's my home turf, hopefully with my little brother. And yeah, I'm gonna do it as a vegan, obviously. It's not gonna change. And you have very kindly offered to help me out and give me some much needed advice, because you know my channel is very much about how easy it is to be vegan. But when you take it from a normal daily routine to wanting to run a marathon in under four hours, which apparently is quite ambitious, you should have seen him laugh earlier, <laughs> you need some more advice. So what sort of stuff do you want to know? Do you need to know? So how much training are you doing at the minute? Just for you guys to know, I'm using RunKeeper. RunKeeper is one of those apps slash websites that help you track your running activity. And I've subscribed to a sub four hour training plan and you run four times a week. So I'm running probably about 20 miles this week, okay. but it's going to go up to 40 miles a week. Yeah. Probably more because I think I'm running more than a half marathon as part of the preparation for it. So ramping it up there. Yeah, cool, cool. So when I do this with my clients, I need to know their kind of weight, height, activity levels, etc. And then just work out their basal metabolic rate from that. Yeah, and explain then... that. <laughs> metabolic rate. So the amount of calories you need to just maintain your physiology. And does that weight. include my normal living aside from the running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. So that's the Harris Benedict formula. It's then a okay. multiplier to work out like what kind of calories you need. He sent me a little message asking me a, a barrage of questions. He sent me a little thing saying so many carbs, so much protein. Okay, yeah. so your yeah, macro caloric quantity. So yeah, people do different kind of methods, paleo, 80, 10, 10, etc. But some of the top athletes, it seems, get on really good with the 80, 10, 10. So it's kind of a minimum of 80% of your calories from carbs, which the 50 billion cells of your body run on glycogen of, of blood sugar. And then a the maximum 10% of your calories from fat and protein. And the lower fat in your bloodstream, some people say it's an aid to, to make you work more efficiently. Um, USA Runner of the Year last year, Tim Sheaf, who's won Woo! numerous. Subscribe, you know, he's awesome. Free Runner, uh, he's won American Ninja Warrior, the, the only person to complete UK Ninja Warrior, which has now come on ITV. Yeah, and then that lovely couple I showed you in Australia last year in their 60s, they ran a marathon a day for Insane. 366 days. The only people ever to do it in the Guinness Book of Records. They were just eating fruit and some leafy greens. And that's how they did it. And, that's yeah. crazy. Cool, so but what we're still... gonna do, I think the plan for this little video series here is that maybe whenever you have time for me, yeah. uh, maybe once every couple of weeks or maybe yeah. every three weeks, we'll do a little update on how much have I been running. Probably the next video I'd like to do in this series is maybe what types of foods are really good to get yeah. all those calories from. Because the numbers that he's given me are like, I think like 4,500 calories. Yeah. So I eat nowhere near that at the moment. And maybe then a little bit of updates on what my average times is and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah which I can very easily get from my Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it's a plan. Sir. Yeah, buddy. Thank you guys. Keep subscribing and everything. This man, the Hench Herbivore, has a YouTube channel as well. And we're going to sub simultaneously upload these videos on both channels. So yeah, please come and subscribe see to Paul. Yeah, it's really awesome. Help to spread the message of health and fitness. And veganism. And vegan. Bye. <laughs> I was going to call it the Everyday Vegan Runs. What do you think? Sounds like you've got the runs. <laughs> <laughs> Brain. All right, that's out the window.